Welcome to another JournalNow.com high school football video. I'm Joe Serrera, and I am joined this week by Mount Tabor head coach Tyshawn Brown. Coach Brown, thank you for joining us. All right, thank you for having me, Joe. You guys are playing uh, Page on Thursday night over at Marion Kirby Stadium in Greensboro. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that and, and just about where your team is at, at this point in the season. Um, you guys had had a little bit of a rough first week, rough first two or three quarters against a really good Richmond County team. Bounced back in that game, rallied, made it interesting, and then had a convincing win over North Forsyth uh, the following week. What did you learn about your team in those two games? Um, we still got that Mount Tabor on our chest, man. Uh, our kids are going to play hard, um, and, you know, we're going to play until that final whistle. Um, we're young. We're a young football team. We made a lot of mistakes in our first home game, but um, the second game, we see the, uh, a huge improvement. Mm -hmm. You lost an awful lot of experience, off, off a great experience, not just it's seniors, but guys who, who did a lot, played a huge role in, in the success of your program. What do you guys have to do going forward the rest of the way, starting with, with Paige on Thursday night this week, to be the kind of football team that Mount Tabor is going to be or wants to be? Uh, it's just got to slow down for our younger guys, man. Uh, mm -hmm. We're playing a, a lot of younger kids um, in the lineup. Um, you know, each week they're getting better, um, getting a mm -hmm. better understanding of the, uh, both schemes. And um, it's just about improving, getting better each and every day in practice mm -hmm. and uh, games as well. You had a Friday night off last week. How do you as a coach and as a staff approach an off week and in terms of what you try to do during that week and what you want to get out of it from a football standpoint? Well, the biggest thing, we wanted to keep our focus on Paige. Um, we didn't want to jump into the next game. Um, you know, I'm, not only I'm the head football coach, but I'm also the defensive coordinator. So I don't want to look at a whole nother offense. And uh, I just mm -hmm. want to keep my focus on Paige. Paige is uh, um, a really good football team. Mm -hmm. How much self-scouting do you do when you get a chance like that where, where you don't have to just focus on something right in front of you a few days off, but you've got a little bit more time? Um, you all, you self-scout. Um, we do it each and every Sunday during our coaches mm -hmm. meeting. Um, you know, I'm going to go back and uh, watch things that I could have done better, different calls, mm -hmm. um, decisions that I made in the game. And uh, and I'm just going to look at my overall offense and defense and see how people are going to try to attack us. Uh, you know, it's, it's it's very important that, you know, you got to know your weaknesses because mm -hmm. um, we, we play a lot of good football teams and uh, a lot of well-coached teams. And so, you know, th those guys are going to see our weaknesses. And so we need to know what our weaknesses are in order to work on. I hear you. You mentioned that Page team that you're going to face this week. They're 0-2. They have played two tough opponents uh, on the road in Dudley and Reedsville. They hung with each of them for a half, and then uh, their their youth and and their their maybe lack of depth kind of kind of took a toll on them. What do you see from the Pirates as you watch video of them? Physical football team, man. Um, they're downhill, and um, Doug always have his teams like this. They're downhill football team, man. They're gonna come right at you on both sides of the ball. Um, they got two really good running backs um, with great size. Good, mm -hmm. <clears throat> They have good footwork. Um, they're young in spots, just like us. Um, I think <clears throat> I think they have about 35 guys on their football team. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I don't think that's a weakness because we had 35 guys last year also. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, you can see those guys play for one another. They play hard. And um, now that it's cooling off, that those guys are going to be ready to go. They're going to be able to play both ways. Yep, I hear you. How is your non-conference schedule preparing you for, for the, the gauntlet that's going to be the Central Piedmont 4A? You you had some tough games in, in the, the Piedmont Triad 3A. Dudley obviously comes to mind, and, and Parkland and some other years and some tough games in there. But this conference that you're going into now is a meat grinder. I mean, there, there's no doubt about it at one point. Uh, one of the one of the polls in the state of the top 25 teams in uh, 4A had seven of the teams from your conference in that top 25 in the western part of the state. I mean, how do you how do you gear up for that? Um, the biggest thing when I was um, doing the schedule, I wanted to go out and play some um, tough competition, but at the same time, I want to keep my guys healthy yes. going into um, to conference play. Um, you know, years past, we 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 played most of the CPC teams before we got into our 3A conference. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we know what that life is about. Um, each and every week, you got to come come to play and play good football um, to that final whistle. So 
it's not really about um, rivalries per se, getting up, yah, 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 mm -hmm. things like that. It's about being consistent and executing. Uh, you know, because you, one week you might play a West for Scythe, the next week you might play an East for Scythe. So it, it's not a um, it's not a game where you can say that we're going to ride on emotions. It's not about that. It's about executing, playing good football. Mm -hmm. What does your team need to do this Friday night? What What are some of the, the things that you need to prepare for with this Page team and, and execute on Friday night? Or I'm sorry, oh, Thursday night. I keep saying Friday night, yeah. Thursday night. I'm sorry. Um, it's simple, man. You got to stop on um, page running game. You got to mm -hmm. be able to stop their running game. You got to be able to um, run the football also. Um, I'm very pleased with the play of my quarterback. And uh, as, as he can continues to improve, this, um, this offense is going to improve even more. And uh, I have a young defense, but those guys are starting to get it. Um, we had a shutout against um, North Forsyth. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I want to build off of, um, off of that energy that we started in that game. Sounds good. We look forward to seeing what your Spartans do on uh, Thursday night over at Marion Kirby Stadium in Greensboro. Thank you for your time, Coach. Thanks, sir. Looking forward to it.